Good morning, everyone. This is a little bit different from what I normally do. And that's because I'm coming to you to explain about what happened yesterday. As I had completed um, making the different things that I wanted to put on the video and I had done the devotion and all that, I was putting it all together in order to process it to put it on YouTube. I was editing it basically and I started to experience some very severe pain, debilitating pain and it got worse and I took Advil and it continued to get worse and then I took two aspirin and it continued to get worse. The only relief I found was laying on my right side of my body so I quickly tried to edit as much as I could quickly and get that done and get that uploaded to YouTube and I called my daughter and I said I think I need to go to the emergency room. So she came and by the time she came, which was only like a half hour later, by now it's probably about quarter to eight in the evening, um, I could barely walk to the car. I was physically shaking from the pain. I was having a hard time breathing because of the pain, not because I couldn't breathe. And um, I was nauseated from the pain. So by the time we got to the emergency room, they were very good. They immediately assessed me and took me in and my goodness, they did a battery of exams. I mean, they did an EKG, they did a CAT scan, they did an X-ray, they did blood work, they did, you name it, they did it. And yeah, everything came back. I'm really healthy. <laughs> Except for the pain that I had in my side my it was my right side right at the waist intense pain they were thinking maybe it was a kidney stone but it, it wasn't what they called it was muscular skeletal pain from overuse and exhaustion yeah so I'm to take Advil every four hours. They put me on muscle relaxants and I'm to follow up with my family care physician. So yeah, that's where we're at. And right now it is like 11 o'clock in the morning and it's very difficult right now. Let's just put it that way. But I did wanted to share with you what the Lord shared with me this morning. And that was from a little little devotional book that I'm going to be reading out of called Everyday Grace. And this was just a little book that, um, that, that I picked up years ago. And every once in a while, you know, I just need something to lift me up or something, something I just need the Lord to, to give me and to feed me. And so I'll use this little book and this is what he gave me today. It's from 2 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 30. If I must boast, I will boast of the things that show my weakness. Most of us have a hard time seeing anything beautiful coming from our weakness. In fact, we're most likely to hide them rather than to admit them. Yet in God's hands, our weaknesses are a source of uncommon blessings. Without weaknesses, we would have no reason to lean on God's strength or to ask for his help or forgiveness. If we never needed to ask him for help or forgiveness, we might never experience the depth of his love and compassion. And in turn, never even glimpse God's infallible characteristics. An admission of weakness 
is the source of genuine humility of heart. One of the spiritual gifts God gives to those who come to him, our own ability to recognize our own weaknesses enables us to empathize with the frailties of others and help them overcome them as a fellow traveler on the same road. The more we think about all we have gained and learned and understood only because we can admit to being weak, the more we will see just how strong and beautiful and uncommonly blessed we really are. So with that, I want to remind you, life happens. Let's enjoy it, even when we are experiencing pain. And I also wanted to read a quote by Elizabeth Ann Seton. We know that God gives us every grace, every abundant grace. And though we are so weak of ourselves, this grace is able to carry us through every obstacle and every difficulty. God bless, and I will talk to you on Monday.